how are you doing today? May the good Lord bless you and guide you and protect you all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our topic today is a peaceful mind. A peaceful mind. And there are seven laws of a peaceful mind to tell us that peace is greater than power. Nothing more important than peace, not even success. There are many people with millions of dollars in their account, but they have no mental peace. When you are peaceful, you are able to think clearly. Number one, make peace with your past. You can't walk with your way through life with one foot in the past. It's important that you make peace with whatever happened in your past. If it's bothering you, do whatever you need to do to find closure. If you feel guilty, regret, sorrow, or shame because of something that happened in the past, learn your lessons and move on. If you have done something wrong to someone, make amends. If you are confused, talk to a trusted friend or seek professional help. The past should make you feel good about the memories you've made and teach you important lessons. Resolve your past to have a peaceful mind. Stop worrying about what others think. People often never take risk in their career because they are too worried about what others will think of their actions. Some never quit a boring job to become a musician or a dancer because they need to look successful in front of their friends and so they sacrifice their dreams. But they don't realize that they can become successful even by doing what they love. Stop living your life seeking approval from others. You are your best judge and there is nothing more intelligent than the voice of your own heart. Follow your heart to cultivate a peaceful mind. Time heals almost everything. Sometimes all we need to do is cut ourselves some slack and make time for our wounds to heal. Of course, it's always what you do with the time that hits you from within. Because one can drown themselves in alcohol or take other self-destructive pathway to cope with the pain, or one can become aware of the pain and take constructive measures such as exercising or therapy to deal with the pain in a healthy way. Give your wounds enough time to heal and you have a peaceful mind. You and no one else is responsible for your happiness. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in your harmony. Only after you take full responsibility for your life can you make any change. People who blame other people or external circumstances for their shortcomings are not only wrong but they also give their power away. The solution is to take responsibility and create your life the way you want it. If you want more money, build professional skills. If you want a relationship, start meeting like-minded people. Moreover, happiness is also about what you focus on. Focus on the good and you will be happy. Focus on the bad and you will be miserable. Take control of your mind, your focus and you will have a peaceful mind. Never compare yourself to others because their journey is totally different. When we compare ourselves to others, be it in terms of financial sources, looks, or whatever it is, we do injustice to ourselves. Everyone is on their own journey. Look at how far you have come and honor yourself for your efforts. Sometimes, when we feel low, we forget how strong we are. It's important to honor your own journey and not focus on others to have a peaceful mind. Another one is this. Stop overthinking. It's okay not to know all the answers. Very okay. It's okay not to know everything. In fact, the most successful people in the world don't know everything. They just take action and figure out the answers along the way. And this is how they cultivate a mindful mind, free of overthinking. Everyone, no matter how successful or popular, 
is figuring out life along the way. Life is like riding a bicycle. You can't be too afraid of falling or you won't enjoy the ride. And you can't learn how to ride unless you take the risk. Another one I always do myself, smile. You don't have to solve all the problems in the world at all. You cannot. The biggest gift in the world are the simplest of things. Always keep a smile on your face. Not because life is easy, but because it is worth it. Okay? Just make yourself to be very beautiful. Create very good mind in your life. Do not allow somebody to use you. Always pray. Prayer is very, very important in the life of every child of God. Don't live a life of sorrow because you want to be like others. Don't live a fake life. Don't live a fake life. Live your life as God has ordained it to be. Because everything you are doing, God knows about you. God knows about your condition. God knows what you are. So when you are going to, let me be like this person, let me talk like this person, let me behave like this person, for how long? For how long can it continue? Please be yourself. Always know that you are somebody. And always try to learn new things every time in your life. Don't compare yourself with anybody. Have confidence in your life. And the good Lord will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.